So this is a very quick video because I messed up and deleted about two episodes worth of content, which is very depressing. So update that. Those. Also, um, I don't know if I said I was a cat in the last video because I didn't edit it, as you can tell in the title of that video. But I'm no longer a cat. I'm a wolf now. So like that's cool. I'll read the description on that in a second. All right, sure I can do that right now. I'm in creative again because like that's just what it is. My videos should just be me vibing in creative, just like. So, I'm strong. I heal with low ceilings. I have two more hearts and I have speed boost at night. Uh, I can only eat meat. I lose hunger faster and I can't wear helmets, which is actually useful because I eat. It's boring. Uh, Euclidean gave me a full diamond. Uh, I tell you about it because I deleted the clip because I'm smart. But yeah, that happened. Uh, this is my diamond pickaxe, by the way. Look, it's got silk touch on it. I just recently enchanted it. Uh, I also made this. But it's pretty. This bit is for potatoes. This bit's for carrots. Also, by the way, yeah, I'm carnivorous. I can't eat any of this food. I'm just gonna, like, sell it somewhere. Uh, and this is beetroot. But yeah, this took me ages to do. Uh, I didn't actually film hardly any of this, so it's not really much missing content. But yeah, I know. Let me tell you what we're missing, because like, this is basically just going to be like a three minute video, in case, unless I give you a full on description. Again, I've got literally no clues in the last video, because I pre-recorded like hell for no reason. So it clearly left me this in here it was a compass. I died with it and none of that stuff, but I died with the compass. Uh, it pointed to the house. Uh, I haven't asked for another one. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have a compass. Anyway, this is apparently a moon. I thought it was an E. I, I still think it's an E. It had loads of poppies in it, and then it had, like, four diamonds and some other stuff. Um, very poggers, yes. That's just going to stay there, I think. This is my house. I built this. And lost all the content for it. Look at that roof. Uh, yes, this is partially based off a mythical sausage video. That's because I think he's good at building and he's very poggers. I made these paths. Do you know how long it takes to get gravel when you can't go in water? Also, this bit there's really annoying. But anyway, yeah, my that little farm. So this bit's all for wheat because I don't know why. I just think wheat's like really useful in life. So back to my house. It has a moss floor because who doesn't like moss? This is where my bed is because I can jump three blocks. I can jump to here and sleep. Except it just stays on, so I can't. Uh, I need to decorate it. So if someone could like in the comments, please give me decoration advice. I'd be very grateful. Yeah, let's make the weather clear one second. Clear weather now. Wow. So we just kind of like slowly go around this house. This took me about three hours to build, by the way, so like this is like ages of content just gone. Because I messed up about three times. And here we have the actual Mythical Sausage video. This wasn't just me basing something off a different Mythical Sausage video, but not actually copying it. This is literally copying, but it's fine because that's the point of the video. This is the tower. It has a roof. Mm hmm. Roofs, am I right? It has windows too. Blue ones because I didn't have any green dye. But now I've got green dye actually, which I'll tell you about in a minute. It's got lanterns. Uh, yeah, it's very pretty. I will put a link to the video it's based off in the comments. Not the comments, the description. It has this door because... Wow. Oh, it has a grindstone in it. Wow. It has. Barrel. It has an anvil. Which I'm excited to use because I want to name my stuff. So yeah, anvil poggers. 
uh, the video said to actually get two anvils, but I was like, I don't need two anvils in my life. That's insane. Uh, these bookcases, by the way, I bought the enchantment table off uh, Miss Spiller uh, because she said she was going to sell it to me for four diamonds with nine bookshelves. So I got it because I already had enough diamonds for it. I just like needed it. So yeah, I've got an enchantment table that does level 30, which is how I got my Unbreaking 3, still Touch 1, Efficiency 4, Pickaxe, which is brilliant, by the way. So yeah, my enchanting. Um, I also died a million times, but I didn't record any of that because my feelings are not good for recording. Well, I can only eat meat, so it's very annoying. And here we have these chests. I've got loads of deep slate in them because, you know... What happens when you go mine, you get deep sight. Also, yeah, I've got loads of random stuff on me. I don't know. Uh, here we have this. These stuff I need to enchant. To move on, doing why do I need two diamond pickaxes? It's just because I need one of fortune, one of silk touch. I also have this really good bow that Cleveland gave me, but I'll get to that later. It's got that on it. I'll read that in a minute. We also have origin books. Also, I have no diamonds, but like, Cleveland gave me another 30. Look, these books written by... I don't even know. Let's read it. Put my reading skills on. Introduction. Origins are wonderful things, from the towering Endearian to the tiny half-slimes. There are so many things to discover about all of them. This book will introduce you to the amazing nature of origins. I hope this... I hope... Will fascinate you as much as they fascinate me. What is an origin? A common misconception is that they are, that an origin is just a subspecies of human, but they are so much more. Origins are an intangible presence that, inhabit, that inhabits a living creature, a human most of the time, and changes their appearance and abilities. Because origins are separate from their hosts, they can be removed from the being they are in, removing that person's abilities as well. Origins in people, full stop. Like I said before, origins change their host's appearance and abilities when they inhabit them. When someone with an origin has a child, a new origin is created in that child. Normally the same kind of origin as the parents. I also, I have also said earlier that origins can be removed. However, origins dislike not having a host and will try to get into the nearest human when removed. A human body is not capable of storing very many origins. Having more, having more than two origins is very rare. Different origins. Origins come in many different types. A lot of them give very similar abilities to those of certain monsters or animals. There are many theories to why this is. One theory is that when a monster or animal dies, an origin that is similar to the mon- What? What? <laughs> right, one second guys, I'm really com- One theory is that when a monster or animal dies, an origin that is similar to the monster or animal. Theory. Okay. I read this. Thought it was fine. I- Evidently read things a lot differently in my head than I read them out loud. Another theory expands th upon this and suggests that an origin is the ex- Exoric. What the hell am I reading? Spirit, I assume that says, of a dead creature. I personally disbelieve the second theory, but that is just my opinion. I did not write this. I don't know who did. Anonymous Jelly wrote it. Who knew? I actually knew that, so evidently me. There's another one. Let's hope this one's phantoms. For uh, for like reasons, um um I must jelly's phantom. <coughs> Breathing. Ah uh, Introduction. Phantoms are, in my opinion, the most interesting origin. They are unique in how they are made, how they function, how they live. Being a phantom myself, I know about this and have decided to write a book about the phantom origin. If what I've said has interested you, read on. If it hasn't, read on anyways. Please note, this book will make much more sense if you read my book about origins first. Becoming a phantom. A very common misconception is that a phantom is the offspring of a human and a true phantom, the phantom mob. This is so widely believed that it is, that it is in the official book of base origins. However, anyone who is a phantom will know better. Phantoms are created when someone who dies and does not respawn. Oh, I can't read. Someone dies and does not respawn. It takes very immense willpower to choose not to respawn. You must have a very good reason to become a phantom. Can't click buttons either or read. Oxygen. 
What's the phantom? When this... What is a phantom? When this happens, the origin of the deceased person no longer has a physical host and can't go into a new one, as it is still part of the old host. This is when some... Thing extraordinary happens. The origin creates a new body. The body, having been made by an intangible force, is f- frail, only having six hearts. It, it also isn't bound to the laws of physical matter, being able to phase through blocks and turn invisible. Living as a phantom. The body, if a phantom... The body, if a phantom, is inefficient when in phantom form, phantoms need more food to sustain it the phantom's mockery of her body is also allergic to sunlight due to it being sensitive to the radiation from the sun phantoms cannot die if they do not have a physical body in a situation where any other player would die permanently the phantom will just keep respawning true phantoms the true phantom or phantom mob is the product of a person without an origin choosing not to respawn they have no origin to make another body and so their being leaves the dead body, losing all will and emotion, and other than the de- can't say desire, other than the desire to kill. Wow! Don't really think you're going to listen to me read today? I'm. I don't like reading out loud. Actually, I hate it. So, you know, feel grateful. Anyway, were we looking through my chests? I don't know. Where to look through the money? With my almost broken diamond armor, that's why I'm not wearing it. Loads of deep sight still. I really like deep sight. More deep sight, wow. You guessed it, more deep sight. Also, cactus, nether wart, and blaze rods. Euclidean gave me this um, because apparently they've been to the nether and got this stuff, and they gave me it. So, like, I'm gonna become the village god soon. But that, that will actually be the next episode of isn't this one. I've also got bamboo, uh, which is progress. I can live out my days as a panda if I desire to. I, I don't currently, but, you know, I can. There's an option, you know. Oh, my God, I can not see my Minecraft skin. Uh, this will change. This won't be like this the next episode because, like, I'm a wolf now. I'm a wolf slime, so it will be pretty much the same, but not the same. Yeah. I'm so going to die again. Here, I'm going to show you my trapped villagers for my... Because, you know, there's still villagers in this village. Two of them. Only two there. There's mine. We'll just use this. Grey wall. I get a grey wall buff. Just, like, sell grey wall and spawn. Actually, it's on my... I swear there's a villager around here somewhere. In case you can't tell, I like lose the villagers. Anyway, yeah, I lose these guys all the time. I swear there's two more somewhere. I honestly thought I would have found one of them by now. I'm over way. Oh no. Okay. There was one in here. Hopefully man's doesn't despawn. You have this guy. Wow. So basically that's all you need to catch up on in this world. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot. I'll, I'll try not to delete everything again. I can't promise anything, evidently, because like I swear this is like the third time I've deleted everything. Also, I had a video to a video, a video fully edited, by the way. So, like, you know, that's brilliant. Anyway, bye bye. Update video. Look at this. I've just made fifty. I've just made about fifty minutes of content into fifteen minutes. So, let's go. Bye bye.